In this video, I'll be starting off with the cheapest gun and working my way up until I use the most expensive gun in the game. The only rule is I have to get 10 kills with each gun I use to level it up. And we're going to be starting off with the Breda. Also, I am only going to be using the armory guns, so yeah. I have mixed opinions on the Beretta. For $200, this weapon was really good. Now I'm... Why is there like four people over there? Okay, let's, let's get some kills over here. Other than that, the Beretta is a really solid eco weapon. 100% make all your cash back with one kill. It's decent, you know? It's a gun. Practice this gun, you'll be making a lot of money. Oh, okay. Well, I just third partied someone. So that guy with the Tommy is low. Where did it? Oh, he's over there. That's nice. Oh, he has a shotgun too. How you miss? And the bread is pretty good on uh, semi as well. Like, you could spam it pretty quick and just kill people really close range. It's pretty nice. I don't even know how many kills I got, so I'll just be using this gun until I die. And then we'll be using the next gun. Why is this guy up here? It's just some random dude camping the top of this building. Like, what the hell? I just love dealer camping. It's so fun. Okay, I'm not reading all that. Also, if you are enjoying the video, consider subscribing to my channel. It's free and it motivates me to do more videos like this for you guys. I'm almost at 10k, so it would really mean a lot. Our next gun on the list is gonna be the Glock. I can't wait till we get to use the BFG. <laughs> you know guys, stick around till we get to use the BFG, because I'm gonna go crazy with it. Um, the Glock in my opinion is... It's alright. It's like a really good base weapon. It's a really good starter gun. Solid headshot damage. Has a bunch of ammo. There's no reason to hate the Glock. It's cheap. And it's just a solid gun overall. There's nothing really to comment about. You could spam the gun too. And it's pretty good for long range too. I think that was five kills already. Um, I... All right, well, off to our next weapon, which is the M1911. The M1911, in my opinion, is one of the best guns in the game. It's unironically one of the best, cheapest guns in the game, I, s I would feel like. Not the best gun in the game, because there's obviously way better guns. It's one of the best guns in the game that you can profit off of. I did make a video on this a while back, because the M1911 just does so much damage. I don't know why, it just, just does so much damage when it shouldn't. A pistol like this shouldn't be able to like two or three tap someone like it's kind of insane. Next weapon is the FMP. FMP is actually one of my most favorite guns, believe it or not, because the hipfire is just so good. This gun is actually really underrated, I feel like.
Do I ever buy the FMP? No, not really. Why is there just a guy with the RPG? He's still in the loops. Oh, I downed the RPG. Nice. Oh, he had an AK. I just gonna kill my kills. Oh, Jesus! Oh my, of course he just whips out a DB and almost one-shots me. <laughs> so, oh, he has a 1k with the fire axe? Are you serious? Ooh, she's almost up here. Jesus. Well, I killed most of their gang. Alright, well, time for the next gun. Well, our next gun is the Super Shorty. This is going to be a bit hard to get 10 kills with since there isn't really a lot of places to get kills from, except for Armory. Most of the haters are like, oh, why can't press Armory? Why can't press Armory? Oh god, Pi's joined. He's gonna be on our bucket list to kill. Shorty, in my opinion, um, I honestly like it over the Ithaca. Oh, see, with shotguns, you gotta be sneaky. There's a rageless katana down there. I don't want to mess with him. Oh, that would've been so sick if I downed him. I'm not really used to the guns like these, so. Now, the G18 is probably one of my most favorite weapons in the game. The fact that it's a Glock, but just rapid fires, so fun to think about. Just kill any melee user that you want. It's pretty nice. The only disadvantage this gun has is the fact that it's, it runs out of ammo pretty quick. It only takes like a couple of seconds for you to lose all your ammo. That's why this gun is it's a really good secondary. But with the attachment, this gun, the best gun in the game. Why is this door? This door's weird. But yeah, this gun is really good for close combat. But yeah, with this gun, you always want to be near a dealer. Hey. Our next gun, the Deagle. In my opinion, Deagle's pretty good. I don't ever buy this gun, because this gun gets shattered by the Magnum now. Kind of unfortunate, but... It's still a pretty good gun. Three taps. They buffed the range for the damage of this gun. The Deagle is a two tap to the head, which is pretty nice, but Magnum is a one shot to the head. I do like this animation though. 
I do like that animation, not gonna lie. And they had way too many skins for this gun. I think there's like three or four skins for this single gun, and some guns don't even have their skin yet. But yeah, I don't like the Beagle anymore, like I used to. Yeah, the only thing that the Deagle has going for it right now is the skins. Only thing that carries it. My next gun is going to be the Magnum. Now the Magnum in my opinion is really good. Gun that two taps close range. I think that's pretty good. How did he, he just jumped like a dolphin bro. I'm not a Magnum Menace like I used to be, unfortunately. Back in 1.6, I was pretty crazy with the Magnum. Now, I don't know why, it's, like, new animations always just throw me off. our next gun is the mp7 and in my opinion the mp7 a decent gun but you could just buy it like i never buy the mp7 since you could just buy the ak for 50 dollars extra and the ak is really good gun so Like, I feel like with the AK, I would have just downed him right there, but... I think the MP7 is just more like a support gun. It only holds up 4.5 slots. And with the kit, you could probably have a main gun and then the MP7 on top of that. Well, this gun has pretty much no recoil, which is good. It has a super fast fire rate. What the Oh my god, bro, that actually jump scared me. Oh my god, bro. I think the next gun that we're gonna use is actually my most favorite gun in the game, which is the UMP. I actually love the UMP. I think it is a great weapon. Not only does it have no recoil and the same or equal amount of damage as AK, but the ammo is incredibly cheap. It's just like a good gun for starters. Like if you want a solid weapon to use when you first start playing the game, like you don't wanna use pistols, right? But you just wanna use something expensive and easy to use, the UMP. It's it's a really good weapon. Why is there so many people? Yeah, 
man. Of course, you know, of course you just lag. <gasps> oh my god, bro. That was... Jesus Christ, these DB people just keep jump scaring me, bro. The next gun we're using now is the M4, and the M4 is probably also one of my favorite weapons in the game. Only problem is how expensive it is, and yeah, your boy's trying to save up money. And yeah, yeah, I know, I have one mil, but like, come on guys, I need to save up money for like future videos, you know? I need to save up money for future videos and stuff, so cut me some slack, okay? The one good thing about the M4 is how easy it is to beam someone, bro. Like, and all I just did was held my mouse down just a tiny bit. This gun is pretty good. What's happening here? Bro, I always trade with people. It's so dumb, I always trade with people. It's actually ridiculous. I guess my next gun is gonna be the foul. Ever since I made that one video, I feel like more and more people have been using the foul recently. Oh my god, bro. This gun also has just a bunch of ammo for some reason. Jesus, he just got obliterated. Okay, so our next weapon is going to be the Scout. I really like the Scout, actually. It's one of my most favorite weapons. Oh, damn. They're both teaming. I mean, the Scout is pretty bad at close range, which is why you don't want to go into interactions like that. Only three more weapons until we get to the BFG, guys. I actually like the Scout now, because they recently buffed it. You could just... Ooh, I don't think it's nice. I don't know. Oh, that guy stole my kill. Some kill. Him. There we go.
The next gun we're gonna be using is the grenade launcher. Now, this isn't like a gun, technically. It's like, it has its own category, I guess. Back in 1.2, I really liked this gun since on contact, it would instantly explode. There wouldn't be like a little delay. I think back in the day, there was only explosive and gas. But now we have fire and smoke, which is pretty nice. And obviously with this gun grenade launcher, you want to camp the roofs and primarily on buildings like this one that I'm going to go to because that building, you could gas it off and they'll still have to rush you. See, that doesn't even kill him. Like, you see how dumb this weapon is? Like, how does that not kill him for 8k? Don't buy this for AK, bro. I am literally just buying the BFG once. My only attempt at buying this. BFG is just, I feel like it's just a joke weapon. There's literally no point of buying it. The only thing it's really good for is just killing tier threes and sniping huge bounties. That's like the only thing it's good for. I get it, it's a one shot weapon and it's a sniper so you can snipe anyone and just one shot them. But at the same time, it's 18K. Like you're gonna kill one person, not even make your cash back. Like. Jesus. Yeah, he's hiding. I would hide too, Loki. Okay. Are you kidding me? Bro, dodge that bullet. Oh my god. 